I need to start recording my phone calls, apparently, because <sighs> ignore, no, I'm getting stressed out, <laughs> ignore the, the lack of face right now. I am so aggravated. It's not even funny. Uh, yesterday, when I got home, Chris hands me a note that was stuck in our mailbox saying that there was a package that needs to be re-delivered. I have no idea. We weren't expecting anything. And no, I don't think it's my desk because that wouldn't have been through the mail. But um, no idea what this is. Needs to be re-delivered because the postage wasn't paid. I don't know how anything gets mailed without postage being paid. So I called. The, the on the slip there's a barcode you could click on it or scan it and it brings you to the website has the number in there already all fine and dandy except that number didn't work it's an invalid number can't do anything with the barcode so i call first i try calling the local post office which it suggests i do no answer nothing just kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing and then finally, it would just disconnect. I tried that number a few times. Still had that problem. Then I called the 1-800 number. The automated system is the most broken thing <laughs> I have ever witnessed. Finally got through to someone who was incredibly unprofessional. Like... Super under like obviously I have no problem with swearing. Does not offend me. But when I'm trying to talk to somebody in the customer service field, I don't want you to go, oh damn, that sucks, man. Like, what? <laughs> yes, it does suck. Let's figure this out. So I gave him the information that I have. The question he asks me, what's the tracking number? If I had the freaking tracking number, I wouldn't be calling you trying to figure out what this is. So I gave him the number that's on the little note that the mail person left. He said that number's not active. I don't know what that means. I don't care. Let's solve this mystery. So he tells me, because this was like 4.30, 5 o'clock yesterday, Friday, he tells me, call first thing in the morning to the post office. So I did. I called at 8.30 when they opened and every hour until they closed. Not one. Just kept ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing until it would disconnect. I read the reviews. Apparently that post office is famous for that. For years. How is that a thing? So. I'm talking to Chris about this. We're trying to figure this out. I know both of us shop a lot online, obviously. But we're not that crazy where we don't remember what we order. So I left a note in the mailbox for the mail person because I couldn't get a hold of the post office. I'm not just going to pay the postage if I don't even know what it's for. And apparently there's scams that do this. No, I'm not paying the money to do this. So I um talking to Chris about it and he suggests that maybe contact Amazon. Oh, I left a note for the mail person. Mail person wrote back and said it's a package for Amazon. Go to your local go to the post office and pick up the item and pay. Excuse you? <laughs> so Chris suggested that I try talking to Amazon. Just got off the phone with Amazon. <laughs> I start the conversation. Obviously, this is a weird situation. Okay. I don't know what the package is. I don't know what it looks like. I know nothing about it other than it wants $8.25 for it to be shipped to me. And it's from Amazon. So the guy answers and he's like, thank you for being a Prime member. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So he goes, what's, what's going, what seems to be the problem? So I tell him. 
tell him everything that I just told you. He says to me, well, it might be a gift. I tried that. I asked everybody that I know that has this address. Nobody sent me anything. I told him, I was like, it's not a gift. Well, let me just check. When's your birth date? So I'm thinking he's trying to verify. So I tell him, January. And he's like, oh, that's a ways away, so it's probably not a birthday gift. I'm like, dude, it's not, I, I don't think it's a gift. I, I don't think it's a gift. And he goes, well, is there any uh, big events? Anything to be, anything to be celebrated? No. <laughs> no. And I, no, I was like, how does, how does a package from Amazon get sent without postage being paid to begin with? Hmm, let me check the registry. What, what? Okay. So he does whatever he's doing and he goes, nope, there's no, there's nothing being sent to you. Oh okay. So I just wasted 10 minutes of my life talking to these people and I'm waiting for a call back from the 1-800 number for the post office because I want to complain <laughs> that the post office won't answer me. So now I have to wait till Monday and everybody knows I'm not a patient person. <laughs> so <sighs> so if anybody has sent me anything via Amazon, please let me know so I can go to the post office and get this item since they're not going to send it to me. And pay the postage. And you owe me money. <sighs> so, um, I just went to the post office uh, to try to figure out the mystery of which this package is driving me insane. And will you believe it if I tell you that nothing has been resolved? Um, so it is Tuesday. And this all started on Friday. Obviously, the clip before kind of tells you all what's going on with that. Uh, the multiple people that I've called for this stupid package that I have no idea what it's for. So, but today we're going to talk about the post office and how rude they are. First of all, they don't answer their stupid phones. Like, I've tried for days, multiple times. One day I called every hour on the hour and nothing. Just rings, 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 and then disconnects. And reading the interview, uh, interviews, <laughs> reading the reviews, which I don't know why people put reviews for post office, but they did. And all of them say the same exact thing, that they don't an ever answer their phone. I'm parked, by the way. So, um, they don't ever answer the phones. So that's, that's cool. So after talking to the 1-800 number again, uh, she said that they'll re-deliver it, but, um, she put in there that, I wanted a call from the post office to try to figure out what this package is. Who it's from, why are we getting it, you know, whatever. So and I got a confirmation email from this post office from one of the supervisors. Apparently there's like four or five, I don't know, saying thank you for your inquiry. Uh, we will be sure to get back to you. We need to do some further investigation, blah, 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 blah. Cool. I waited all day Monday, didn't get anything. So I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna go down there. Just gonna, down with a phone. I'm gonna go to face face someone, try to figure this out. So, of course, there's a long line, which I always forget. I don't go to the post office very often, so I forget that there's usually a long line. So, I'm waiting in line, finally get up to the person, and you could tell these people are just done. And I understand, you know, I, I get it. And my number one rule when dealing with customer service is no matter how bad of a day I'm having, each person is a new person. That person in front, you know, they might have given me a hard time, but it is not the next person in line's fault. So I'm not gonna take that out on them. And I've always been that way. And as a customer, whenever I talk to somebody, I remind myself, it is not their fault. They are just the in-between and I, I give them my story, whatever. With that said, I go up to the lady and she's already, you could tell, you could tell she's in a mood, you could tell she's ready to fight. And I said, I have 
and I got flustered. I did get flustered. Because, you know, as I'm staying in line, I'm getting myself all worked up over the stupid thing. And, you know, I give them the slip that they require. And I tell her, you know, okay, so I have a package that's for uh, re-delivery. I uh, was supposed to be getting a call. Nobody calls you. My phone decided to stop because it's too hot. Sort of problems. So, I gotta keep it away from the sun. <laughs> so... She says, nobody's going to call you. And I said, well, as I was trying to say, I talked to the 1-800 number. They made a note in the file. Nobody calls you for that. They just schedule. I'm like, will you please let me finish? And she looked at me all stupid. Like, I just hurt her life goals of pissing me off. And she says, what'd you say? I said, please let me finish. I was trying to say... I talked to the 1-800 number, they put a note in the file, I got an email from your supervisor here that someone would be in contact with me. And she rolled her eyes and took, grabbed a slip from my hand and said, I'll go check on it. Whatever. I stood there waiting for like 10 minutes before she came back with the supervisor that was there that day. And she was real. She explained to me that the person who did the delivery that day is a substitute, and they didn't scan the barcode that would require any sort of help, and they're all today. So she has to wait for whenever they come back to work to ask them about this package. So I said, do we know when that's going to be? She said, 24 to 48 hours. mystery package from Amazon has been solved. Um, obviously, I talked about this is going on two weeks now of this package that was brought to my house and left a notice saying that it needed to be re-delivered. But because the substitute didn't scan that slip, it created a whole bunch of problems. So, and I get it, you know, everybody makes mistakes not a problem. I'm a very understanding person when it comes to customer service because I've been in customer service. And I always try to treat people the way I would want to be treated in that situation. So yesterday I went to the post office because after trying 17 times to call within the two weeks and not one time a phone call was answered, I was never put on hold, nothing. Just ring, 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 and then disconnected. Um, so I did call the 1-800 number again, and of course they really couldn't do anything other than put in a case for me, which they did. And, um, I did get an email from the customer care center, which is the 1-800 number, you know, apologizing, blah, 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 for the inconvenience, but still didn't really have any solution. So I went to the post office, waited in line again for another 20 minutes or so. And I, as I was standing there, I was listening to the conversations that the postal people were having with the customers. And it just shocked me that they were so rude to, to start. Um, this one lady was going on about, you know, how she got this email, da, da, da. And automatically, like the post person, I don't know what they're called, post office person, whatever, didn't even let her finish, which was the same problem that I had previously. We don't send emails. I had an email from the post office from one of the supervisors from that location. So I could vouch for that lady. Yeah, you do. And again, you know, the whole, oh, we don't call you. Well, that's true. They're supposed to, but they, di they didn't. So to me, the fact that they're just cutting off customers and telling them what they don't do, it's just rude in itself. So I get to, the lady finally calls me up. And um, she's like, you know, how can I help you? So I, again, every time I go up to someone new, I try not to be mad because it's not that particular person's fault. I don't want to take it out on them. They're just the messenger. 
However, how they respond, then it's fair game. <laughs> and this lady kind of was like, okay. Um, so I told her, you know, I gave her the slip and she went right back and got the package. So obviously they had figured out where it was. The substitute obviously did what he was supposed to, but they never called me. So I was like, why didn't I get a call back? Why didn't I, you know, and now I'm looking, she let me look at it. And obviously, I, you know, I couldn't open it until I paid for the stupid thing, which was $8 and 25 cents, which isn't a huge deal, but it's like, it's the principal at this point. So I couldn't tell who it was from, but it didn't look like a scam, which was something that I was worried about. So I went ahead and I paid for it. And I said, why didn't I get a call back to try to figure out what this package was before I came down here? And she goes, well, we wouldn't have been able to tell you. I'm like, well, you could have told me who it was from. All I knew it was, was from Amazon and that could have been a number of things. And she just, she rolled her eyes and she's like, well, are you going to return it or not? So I said, no, I'll pay for it. So I opened it up and it turns out that the company that I bought the, the wig that I used for the flip video decided that I needed two. Um, I didn't pay for two. So I was like, okay. Um, so I was like, I was still really ticked that I didn't get a call back, you know, uh, not even like an email was saying, you know, sorry for the inconvenience from that post office again. So I was like, you know, I, I'm going to pull a Karen right now. I, I want to speak to a manager because this is, this is crap. I don't, there should be no reason that you don't ever answer your phone. And like I said, I went on and I don't know who leaves reviews for post offices, but apparently this one has the worst reviews. Um, there was only like maybe two five star ratings and I'm, I'm sure that they were paid off, <laughs> but all of them said, you know, never answer the phone. Always rude. Never answer the phone. Always rude. So it's not just me. <laughs> so I was like, I want to talk to a manager. So manager comes and very already. She was just like dismissive of me. And I said, I went through the whole thing with her because of course, you know, I go through the whole story. I was like, and I want to know why I didn't get a call back. I said, do your phones even work? Cause I, I've been trying to call. She goes, yes, they work. I'm like, okay, well then why didn't anybody answer? She goes, well, they were probably busy. I said, for multiple days, I've tried calling. And she just kind of, she goes, I always answer the phone unless I'm up here talking to somebody. And that's usually often. Yeah, because people think your service here sucks. So people want to complain. Maybe you should take that into consideration. But I know some people think that they don't do anything wrong. So, you know. So I was like, all right, look, I didn't know what this package was. I didn't get a call back. I did open it. So that was my fault. I probably shouldn't have opened it, but I didn't have any internet service. So I couldn't even look it up and I didn't want to leave to have to go back. So I said, is there any way that I can get the money that I paid for this? This was sent an error. It's not my fault. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, well, let me ask a manager. I'm like, you are a manager. So she left and then she comes back. And of course she's like, you know, the person who normally does the refunds is the postmaster and he's not here. Da, 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 da. And I said, well, I got an email from this person saying da, 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 da. And I told her the name of the person and she rolled her eyes and goes, that person's not here anymore. I'm like, well, that's convenient. That was a week ago. And that person's no longer there. Probably the only person who answered the phone. <laughs> so she she said no unfortunately we can't give you the refund and i was oh, flip was coming out okay so i said and i grabbed the package and i left so then i dealt with amazon and you know worked it out but it just i could not believe but positives focusing on the positives um i was worried that I have become an Amazon ordering addict to where I ordered something and didn't remember. So that wasn't my fault. I didn't forget something. Um, and number two, it wasn't a scam. So it was just a mistake on the other company's part and it's been resolved. But dang, two weeks of this nonsense to figure out it was just another stupid wig that I don't need. So. That's been my post office journey. I'm about over it. Uh, so hopefully, and you know, after I got my desk done, that's all 
fine and dandy. I, I'm done with dealing with 1-800 and customer services. So hopefully for the next at least month, I don't have to deal with any more customer service nonsense because it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. I don't like being a customer service and I don't like dealing with customer service. <laughs> so I wanted to give you that update. I hope you enjoyed this ranty video and yeah, it was fun. No, it wasn't. It was, it was, it was sucky. Um, but now I'm, I'm on my way over to my parents' house. Uh, I just was sitting here hoping the car would cool off before we start moving because apparently my child gets car sick now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful weekend slash week slash whatever. Have a random day is what I'm going to say. <laughs> I need coffee. I'm tired. Can you tell that I'm tired? I'm tired. Bye. <laughs>